Hi guys, Dusty here, and I've got some news from Nintendo this morning. Nintendo is going to be coming out with a new 3DS, but it's not a new 3DS. It's not like it is a new 3DS. It's just the same 3DS with a couple features added, called the new 3DS. So now, first of all, let me just say, I thought the name freaking 3DS was bad in the first place. It's just a DS with a three in the middle of it. That was very confusing at first. I didn't even know that was the next gen. I didn't know that that was next gen. It had more to it. I thought it was just adding 3D to the DS. All right. As a person who actually keeps up on things, not just a person who is just your typical person, average consumer. I'm a, I'm a guy who watches gaming news videos on YouTube. That's basically the type of person I am. I'm like you, all right? So then the Wii U. I originally thought it was just going to be a controller add-on for the Wii. And then I figured out, hey, it's their next-gen console. I didn't freaking know that. And then, now, Nintendo decided to say, Hey, we're just going to make a new 3DS, but it's going to be called the new 3DS. So yeah, that new 3DS you just bought because you didn't know about this thing, it's going to be obsolete in six months. It is going to be obsolete in six months. So you know what that means? It means that your, soft, your hardware that you just bought right, uh, probably, maybe even today, maybe you just bought one of these today, brand new off the shelves for $169. It's not going to work with games six months later, so if you just did buy this, I implore you, return it now, return it, return it, return it, return it, just get rid of it, get your money back and wait for the new one, except I'm not going to support this. Here's what I'm going to do about this myself. Uh, I expect no one to follow me. However, what I am going to do is I am going to sell my new 3DS that I just got a while back. My new 3DS that's complete in the box and everything. And I'm going to buy a new 3DS. But I'm not going to buy a new 3DS new. I'm going to buy a new 3DS used. How does that freaking make sense? Can, can I just ask you guys, please put in the comments, tell me how that makes sense. Buying a new 3DS used. Anyway, but yeah, I'm going to buy a new 3DS used with the money I get from this. Hopefully I'll get most of the money it'll take to get the new 3DS used. I'll, I will be keeping my first party games. And now, first of all, this is a big deal. This is a big deal to me because I do not buy hardware used. I, I like to support the companies who make these things. I like to support them. And I like to tell them when they're doing a good job by giving them my hard-earned money. Now, when I give them my hard-earned money, that's me saying, hey, you did a good job. So in turn, since they didn't do a good job, I'm not going to give them my hard-earned money. But not only that, but I'm going to take it a step further. You know all the first-party games like Pokemon and Zelda and Smash Bros and the new Pokemon and Mario and other Zeldas and everything like that? I'm going to be buying them used. I'm going to be buying them used. Not a cent of that money is going to be going to Nintendo, unlike when I buy my games new. Um, not a cent of that's going to be going to Nintendo. And in turn, all that is going to be going to some random staff who buys it on eBay, plays it, and, you know, just wants to sell it. All right? So I hope you're happy, Nintendo. Uh, I know I'm one consumer, so I don't matter. A bunch of us would matter. However, one person like me doesn't matter. All right? So... I do expect I do not expect you to do the same. However, if you are with me, do the same. Sell your 3DS on eBay and just buy a new 3DS used. Don't be a sucker and keep your 3DS while the new 3DS is going to be coming out and you can hardly take a loss on it. But also don't support Nintendo with it because that is just as bad of a decision. Um, instead of supporting Nintendo, uh, buy your games used now. I would never suggest that in my life, but buy your games used. And by the way, I just want to throw this out there too. I am a Wii U owner. I did buy my Wii U new, and I did buy all my games for my Wii U new. I am still going to be buying all my new uh, my Wii U games new, and I will be buying all my Wii U hardware new. However, this has not changed my output on the Wii U because I think that's a great console that's doing great. However, the Nintendo 3DS, I'm not going to support it. And now, the reason I'm not going to support it is not just because of this. First of all, because of the insane launch price and then the immediate price drop. That was just poor, poor, poor sportsmanship on Nintendo's part as a business. And then the fact that they were too freaking cheap to include power adapters for Japan and Europe. 
And now people are saying, oh, well, it's because the, the regular DS ones are compatible, so they assume you already own a regular DS. Th they aren't compatible, are they? So you really don't really have an argument right there. Uh, and then another thing that they did was, of course, really release the stupid second analog nub that you can throw onto one of these things that will only be useful for, like, three or four games. So you pay $30 for an accessory that'll, that's a freaking piece of plastic with a little board in it with a little analog nub that sticks out of your pocket. You're going to be buying that for $30. Well, you bought that for $30, and that's going to be useful for, like, four games instead of for the rest of the Nintendo 3DS's library. Then, they decided to release the DSi Excel, I mean DSi Excel, the 3DS Excel, about a year later. And now that was just terrible, because a lot of people were like, oh, I want the Nintendo 3DS Excel, so I guess I'm going to have to sell this thing for a poor amount of money, because I just bought it for $250, now it's being sold new for less than $169, so I'm going to lose half the money I've paid for this thing, and I'm going to go out and buy this piece of hardware that is actually cheaper than my initial investment of my first console. That is just terrible, terrible, terrible ethics right there, in my opinion. And now, first of all, I do also want to say I'm not a Nintendo hater. I obviously have a 3DS. I, I just bought a Wii U. I own every Nintendo console besides some of the portables and the Virtual Boy and stuff like that. But I am not a Nintendo hater at all. I collect Nintendo games. So that's not a big issue to me. But just the fact that when, whenever Nintendo screws up, I don't like to support them for it. I don't like to say, all right, well, I, I hate what you did. So take my money, because I guess it's justified. It, because it's not. It's not justified for Nintendo to be doing shady business practices like this. So, really, I think the new 3DS was just a nail in the coffin for me in Nintendo's portable stuff. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to be supporting them anymore for the term of the 3DS. I'm going to be seeing about the next console. If they release a uh, new portable console in the like right after they release the new 3DS. I'm I'm going to quit on Nintendo's portable market. I mean, it's not worth all the roller coasters and the ups and downs and whatever they're doing because whatever they're doing is just shady, wrong and I'm not going to support it. I don't expect you to stand next to me, but I expect you to understand me and why I'm doing it. So you guys, I'm not expecting you to go out and just boycott Nintendo's 3DS products, but I personally am and I'm going to be buying them used, all of them that I buy, and I'm going to show you a video of when I buy my used new 3DS, and I'll probably do a review of it. So, that was just my quick spiel, well, my long spiel, this video is like 8 minutes, but I, I just want to thank you for watching, I want to let you know in the comments, what is your spin on this, what do you think about this, because I want to know, I really want to know what you think about the new Nintendo 3DS, and if you think it's a good thing or a bad thing, because I personally think it is a terrible thing, and I think that it's just abomination to the industry, I, I think it's abomination to gaming, and now, also I do want to add too, that I was okay with the DSi, and I had a DS, I had a DS, but I was okay with the DSi, why is that? Because, though it added functionality, it didn't take away functionality from the previous console. You could still play every single DS game ever on your DS, um, even after the DSi. However, this is making some DS, 3DS games uncompatible with the 3DS. So you'll need a new 3DS to play with those games. So, that's what I think is shady about it. Uh, I might do a more in-depth video eventually, but I want I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with me for like nearly 10 minutes now. It really means the world. So just I want to know, write a comment please. Write a comment. What do you think about this? Whether you're an average Joe consumer or an industry analyst like me, please let me know um, what you think about this. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Take it easier than I am right now. Let me just put it that way, but seriously, take it easy.